With unbridled energy, South African cellist and composer Abel Silauchwe and the Chinike Orchestra bring the beat into the concert hall. Where I come from, we, we tend to not label things in boxes. So when I was given a cello, nobody said, play classical music. You know, immediately somebody said, what sound can you make? And I had to start from the voice, I can make this kind of sound. And immediately I started to explore beyond the bounds of, of the cello in that sense. There's a thing actually that I love to imitate. It's called um, the wata. It's, it's a violin from, from Eritrea and Ethiopia. And it sounds like a whistle, like a flute. It sounds like this. The Chinike Orchestra rehearses in London. The musicians learn some of Abel Selauchoe's latest compositions. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're all well. Um, so we're going to st start today with Kawe. And Kawe in the language of Zulu means hero or warrior. And this is basically about this idea that uh, children have uh, an incredible curiosity and also uh, a kind of wisdom that the community doesn't really get to witness unless they're there. So we're going to learn this by here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's what I want you to do with your nose. One, two, three, and. Great. Just that. Well, I feel like the survival of classical music is based on it living with other music. I feel like for too long, Classical music has been living in its own room uh, with its own people. And I think for it to prosper and for it to be forever here, it needs to live with others. In, in a few languages. My father is, is from the northwest of South Africa and they speak this language called Tswana. And uh, we grew up close to Lesotho, so we speak Sotho as well. And my mother is Zulu. Abel studied cello at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester, England, and still lives there. In 2022, he released his debut album and toured the United States with it. When he started learning the cello as a boy in South Africa, he didn't have one of his own and practiced on a broom. Sibukeng, this is where I come from, is a place where um, there's not a lot of money, but there's a lot of creativity. And I think it's a very important aspect of society to be able to make things for yourself. If you want something and if you imagined it, try make it yourself and see how far you get. Now here we're going to do a little bit of singing. Okay, let's do the words first. Kali, Kali, Bizo, Bizo, Lava, Lava, Dimo, Dimo. It means in the name of our ancestors. Kale. The 31 year old is full of ideas on how to conduct an ensemble in a completely different way. A few years back, he was playing as a cellist with the Chinike Orchestra. Today, the orchestra plays his compositions. Abel is extraordinary. He's a, he's a unique artist. And to think that he had all that going on when he was sitting in the cello section, I had no idea. You know, I just only saw him as a classical cellist. I always knew that he had some other sort of thing going on, but everybody is unique here. It isn't always easy to write Abel's music on paper, so the musicians have to keep practicing the right beat until they get it down. His energy is contagious. I'm always asking myself what's, what's important. In the music, I'm also looking to take away the space between the audience and the performer. We need to dissolve the boundary in between. So that's what I look for with the music, uh, to make people pretty much forget themselves uh, and, and be reflective. 
Abel Salauchoué is making his mark in the world of classical music and bringing together the traditions of different countries with his compositions.